Now I'm here at the Coral Street Elementary School where they have put in a garden. Like all of the uh, elementary schools in the State College Area School District, there is a garden here. And at, in these gardens, uh, at least at this one, they are focusing primarily on herbs and vegetables. Vegetables that are uh, native to Pennsylvania. Uh, as well as herbs that grow here well. So I'm going to pan over here and you can see some of these herbs including sage, I believe we have some uh, thyme and mint and basil over here. And if you look ahead and to my right we have a large patch of corn and squash. And actually, right over here, it looks like we're getting some sort of pumpkins. So there are different squashes here. And if you know anything about the history of Pennsylvania agriculture, you know that the Iroquois grew what were called the Three Sisters. And schools across the state are growing the Three Sisters. The Three Sisters are some kind of squash, corn, and some sort of bean, green beans. Because the squash will grow out, and you can see they're flowering here, and the corn grows up through the middle and you can have beans vine around the corn. Now I think that just because of the nature of the growing season in the school year, we don't have the beans here. All right. But you can see here we have many, many more. There are peppers. Oh, it looks like some rabbits got in here. There were lettuces here earlier, and tomatoes, but for our purposes, we are going to check out this greenhouse. So there it is. And right now, it doesn't have its roof on it, but you can see that there are thousands of bottles on this thing. Maybe about a thousand. Um, this is the door. It is currently latched a little bit with a makeshift right there. But you get the idea. We're trying to reuse some bags, large, uh, large bags, to provide the plastic sheeting inside, and that's presenting something of a challenge. And there are a, there are a few things that we're going to have to kind of keep up with this thing as we go along. The original plan called for two-liter bottles, but because of limited access, uh, we didn't have we couldn't get several hundred. I think it was about 500 two-liter bottles, so we used these. And anyway, to make our point, which is about the reuse of something that is just incredibly destructive, the plastic bottle, the plastic water bottle in particular, we really wanted to focus on these plastic water bottles. If I go ahead here, you look at this thing, you can see this is some pretty flimsy plastic. Uh, and... In the United States, even though numbers have been dropping, we consume tens of billions of these every year. Now, the recycling rate around the country is about 17% overall. Some estimates are around 20. If you go to some cities, they're much better. Maybe in the 30%, 40%. At Penn State, 
this year, I believe that we were at something like 56% for the overall recycling rate. So that includes things like paper and more. Paper, plastic, etc. Now, if you think that's pretty good, you're right. That's still at least 45% uh, of our plastic bottles not being recycled. They're going into the trash and going to landfill where they can off-gas, where they will not degrade, where they will not be reused, and so on. And in the tens of billions for the country at large, it is not like Penn State. You're talking about if, it's, if we're still consuming 55 billion uh, bottles of water a year, we're still sending well over uh, 40 billion to landfills. That is unsustainable. You add into that all of the fuel costs associated with the production and shipping of this, and you have global warming uh, in a bottle. And you have water scarcity in a bottle. These things are sources of conflict. They take from often water from rural areas, rural people. They take a, what should be a, uh, a resource that they should have by right and it commodifies it and concentrates that profit into the hands of very few people. It takes from the commons and puts it into the puts it into a profit for very few people. Uh, all the while not helping maintain uh, good infrastructure for people to have healthy water themselves uh, and does little for the health and well-being of watersheds around the country. They are uh, something of an ecological and social nightmare. So, we think that by doing something like this, which is reusing materials for a purpose they were not designed to do, um, in, in essence we've accepted them and put them to a use that can be good. And we really look forward to seeing how the children at the Coral Street Elementary School use this, how teachers use it, and the kinds of lessons that can be drawn from it. Because it would be great if we could take these and make them able to help do more of this. So I'm Peter Buckland, President of Environment, Ecology, and Education. And I'm really looking forward to a world where we don't even have to do these kinds of things. Where what we do is make the right decision the first time around and live our lives with less of a harsh impact on the planet.